Hey, it's around here. This is a follow-up video for the PLR setting up from A to Z tutorial, the hour and 40 minutes one. So I've just uploaded to YouTube. It, people are starting to watch it. And I, I went to go and, and now add it to my course area. And I did that. And I added it to my email. And I did that. However, then I remembered, oh my God, I didn't actually set up the course area. Now, the course area specifically is the settings. So if you go to courses, click on your PLR package, and click on settings and you'll see this information. So if you look at the actual course, you see that it says, uh, when you look at view, you see that it says the name of the CEO of system and my picture. So obviously I don't want that. You could see my uh, info here, that's all good. You could see that I added the tutorial as well. Um, like I said, I will, so that's all good. And that's all fine. But the issue is that I, <laughs> I need to change the name so it doesn't say that, right? So. The way to do that is you were to go to courses, hover over this, click on settings, and then you would change this name. So I'm gonna change to my name. And then I'll say lifetime access and resale to Echo is presented by Real Amakar. Um, this is a reseller package of the system IO PLR courses with um, introduction and tech tutorial from around Bukai. This is lifetime access and resale rights to eight course presented by Aurelian Amakar. Okay, perfect. Now I can change the domain name. So in my case, all my courses, I have them under members.com truths. Basically, that's how I have it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Do I wanna do it under PLR as well? Hmm. No, I'm gonna stay consistent. This is this is a difficult question for me. It's more. It's not gonna matter to you so much, but in my case, it's really strategic. Like, do I put it under the members dot dot com truths? So all my templates and coaching and my guides and all that stuff, it's all available here, basically. So yeah, I'll probably leave it like that. PLR resources. I'm gonna leave the logo and the cover and the teacher photo, all that. I'm gonna leave it exactly as it is. I'm not gonna mess with any of that because it is the system C uh, PLR package. It doesn't have to be my branding. Usually I would do my branding, but in my case, it really doesn't matter. So I'm not gonna go there. It's really not relevant to me. All I just didn't want to say, show my picture and have the, the name. Basically, I didn't feel, I, I felt that would be silly. So yeah. That's all good. That's all good. And then course assets. How to use this PLR package. New launch. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Yep. Okay. I'm happy with all of that and how all that looks. So I think that's fine. This is a mystery to me still, by the way, because this is not really, uh, this is just a, a random link. I don't even understand why it's here. I have to ask support still. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that little update because this is important as well. Let's just refresh this page so you can see what's there. So I basically added this lesson. I added the video right here. I still need to add thumbnail and all that stuff. My, my SEO guy is going to take care of all that. And under workflow and automations, notice that I fixed my email. Um, choose an edit. And you see that I added the email, the, the URL of the YouTube video here as well. So anyway, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to add that because uh, that's an extra little thing that has to be done. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks a lot for watching. Again, if you have questions, leave a comment below with any questions you have, either this tutorial or the other one. And I'll be sure to do a follow-up video as well on any other questions you have. Thanks. I'll speak to you soon.